This is E1, who made it to Manchester. They didn't do... They, they didn't win a single game in Manchester, and they've lost one of their best players. Uh, but they picked up some decent replacements. Uh, former Black Dragons players, Beceto and Live. And they are up against Elevate Academy. Elevate Academy have just picked up Rise, who you may remember as the worst player in all of the North American League last stage. Of course, Brazilian player was playing in North America. So I ask you this channel prediction now, how many kills does Rise get this game? Rise was the analyst of Los, and then he became a player for Los, and now he's a player for Elevate Academy. Uh, I leave you with round one. I need to use the bathroom. Well, well, well! Rise went down. I'm gonna guess without getting a kill. <laughs> Just because the mic quality is not the tip of the top of the best that we've ever seen. Hits him with a good night, too. I don't know about that one. So, we'll do our best to keep track of how many kills Rise's, uh, Rise's landing. He's currently at zero. His teammates start this off pretty good, though. <laughs> Just as I fucking speak, bro. Immediately goes down. He did use one Toxic Babe, so it's not a complete waste of utility, but... Oh, boy. Oh, no. Dude, this could be another 7-0. We might have two of the worst games of all time today. You think E1 got better? Really? I mean, I'm glad they dropped Emps. I don't think Emps was very good. Uh, but I feel like Arthur... Arthur was their IGL, right? Or was it always SDK? Rise was the guy who refused to plant in stage one. Ding, 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 ding. That is correct. That's the one. They didn't drop Emps? Arthur was their IGL. Okay. I think Arthur was their IGL too. What happened to Emps then? Why isn't he playing? I just assumed he got dropped because he's not on the team. He's not on any other teams as far as I'm aware. And he was pretty bad during stage one. Okay, Goku wins this thankfully. So that will be a round win for Elevate Academy. Notice now E1 are banning the Monty. Right? That would have never happened with old E1 with Arthur on the team. Now that Arthur's not on the team, they don't have a strong shield player like they used to have. Um, and I think right now, a team without a good shield player is not a good team. Rise is ratting in the basement. He's being hunted by a Deimos who is in the basement with him. Rise in a 1v1. He knows he's getting swung. He takes a little damage from the nade, and he gets his kill! Rise one for two. Kind of insane that SDK lost that gunfight, if I'm being real real. He probably should have swung with the, uh, with the AK. He probably should have swapped weapons. Because he did hit Rise, he just didn't deal enough damage. I think if he just switches to the AK and then, uh, pre-fires it, he probably wins. It's kind of an awkward one, though. Okay. Rise got his kill, even though it's a 3v5. Elevate Academy win this round. That's my take. Empowered by the frag that Rise was able to find in the basement. Knack will be inspired to go make a play and kill Beceto. Nigel finds Perez. Nigel for two? I fucking told you, dude. Okay, Rise on the roam once again. There's actually four players currently roaming. Four players on the top floor. That's unfortunate. SDK had full intel. Nigel is carrying this fucking team. Nigel and Knack have been fucking nasty with it. The intel is horrendous. I told you Nigel and Knack, though. What's the difference between Elevate and Elevate Academy? They're just two different teams. Elevate plays in Thailand and Elevate Academy plays in Brazil. Elevate is a tier 1 team. Elevate Academy is a tier 2 team. Rise is a good player compared to me. Rise is absolutely a good player compared to me. I'm not playing in quals though. <laughs> I'm only playing when it's bare necessary. That was a nice shot from Beceto. 
um jogador, dois contra um, o tempo tá acabando, tem que fazer o plant, vem ali, kill one. It's insane what siege players can do when they just stop playing video games, I swear. A maleta, né? Derrubou o desativador, vai passar pro outro. Oh, Nak makes a play here. Nak 100% makes a play here. Nak's about to get a kill. He went down below. Oh, he actually took like 75 damage and ran away. My bad. He did try. He still could. He did not. They're not that bad players. And they are still on defensive, uh, in a defensive position. The Toxic Babes have not been bad. He is out of them fully now. Holding a tight angle. That guy's outside. <laughs> was that guy outside? No, that guy was inside. He just walked right past. No, rise. Oh my god. He let him just walk past. And then he lost the fight anyways. They do not pick up here, surely. Low battery. They just ran out of time? Somehow, Elevate Academy win that. They never should have. Oh, they were trying to plant. Oh, we got a nutty C4. Rise in sight now, I believe. Okay, that guy's lost. Rise gets the trade! And he's on a 2k for this round. I think that's three kills overall. Wait, and he's actually in a great spot to just win the game. He just needs to survive. Ah, great. Okay, actually, a good round from Rise. Rise dead ass did everything right in that round. Well done. So, in stage one, I was a big E1 fan. You know, I was a real big supporter of them. I was a real big believer. And I kind of came into this game thinking, you know, maybe I can still root for this team. Maybe there's still some potential after Arthur left. After they got a single attack versus Elevate Academy, and yeah, you know, Rise is literally sitting on a fucking Valkam on drone. So they're going to get this round as well. But I don't think I have any faith that E1 can replicate their major performance. I think there's zero chance E1 make it to Montreal. This game just looks so rough so far. But E1 were a top four team last stage, you know? E1 will probably make closed quals. I don't even know if they qualled directly into closed quals. Okay, maybe it's just a super defender side of map. We'll find out around this round. Uh, it's a very roam heavy strategy, obviously, from E1. They got the Dokubi to try to clear this out. But... SDK dying there is insane. <laughs> like, shoot him when he drops the hatch, number one. And then if you miss when he drops the hatch, leave. <laughs> You're defending! You have a strong bomb site. Do they hunt down live, do you think? I don't think they have time to hunt down live. They kind of just need to hit site. They're very worried. And now Flashry's back up to the top floor. Oh, this is bad. Of course, Ryze goes down to live. He gets flanked. Live gets a 2k now top floor as well. Dude, this is a 5v2. Or is a 5v3? Oh my god, it's a 5v3 and they're gonna lose. Wow. They need to just hit sight there. If they hit sight, it's a 5v2 on sight. But they, like, get super distracted by live. Flashery goes and takes the gunfight. Or, sorry, Ryze goes and takes the gunfight for no reason. And then Flashery's flanking. Bassetto holds down sight really well because he's taking little 1v1s instead of uh, trying to fight off five players, hunting him down. Sheesh, bro. Ooh. Tough you can't punish that from Hunter. Rise up on the, uh, on the Deimos as well. I think he wants to clear bottom floor and then work vert. He's going to run into Bassetto first and foremost. So Bassetto is the only player on the bottom floor. Oh, wait. The bomb says bottom floor. Okay, my mistake. Uh, I don't know what he's doing. He's trying to play horizontal. He went into basement. Oh, and Bassetto is down. Oh, huge. Actually, a good push. Deadass is a good push. He should have stuck that. Uh, Flash had a C4. Never mind. He couldn't have stuck. Okay, Rise needs to come and kill Flashry from below. Rise actually is baiting. Rise needed to put so much more pressure on Flashry. Flashry got three kills. He eventually gets the down. Bro, don't secure. Okay. I'm just worried about his time. He's kind of playing for the KD, securing that kill. But, like, 
He loses this regardless. Yeah. Oh, uh, Ryze is doing the right thing. He knows what to do. He just needs to be so much faster at that. If he's applying pressure to Flash 3 from below earlier, then he can actually, like, distract Flash 3 more, and then his teammates don't all die to him. I just feel it makes more sense to invest in one esports team that makes money. Rise! You are not beating the allegations, brother. <laughs> oh my god, they're actually going to throw this game too. That's the sad thing. I say that. They look like they're going to win this one. 2v2 while plant's going down. Hunter's fragging, though. Ooh, if that C4 had landed, he still loses the round, but he at least has a realistic chance. Against this blitz, he's got no... My mistake? I mean, he still has no chance. If he had gotten to a disa if he had gotten to the bomb chassis because the shield is still up, he actually is in a pretty powerful position. I mean, they can just play the clock, but okay. Do we think this actually goes to overtime? I think it could. I really do, because Elevate E One don't have to play that top floor bomb site anymore, and Elevate Academy looks so lost. Actually, trying to like quickly clear these roams. Maybe the Blitz is just the key. Nope. <laughs> The blitz was not the key. Okay. Rise is in the basement. I don't know the call because I can't read Portuguese. Oh, he's bottom cargo. Rise is in a good spot. Okay. Rise baited his whole team and then died the first gunfight he took. I was going to say he's in a good spot to coordinate with his teammate. Again, the positioning is like always good from uh, Elevate Academy. They're just like not able to win these fights and they're not timing themselves with. well but like that's a pretty strong push having one guy in animus and one guy in cargo allows you to pinch the the tank bomb site and it's like you know pretty basic good way to push that site problem is they lost every single gunfight they took so. okay rise is working from down below rise likes to play these vertical operators the demos the buck it's really interesting how much people want to run uh, Deimos vertically. Deimos honestly plays more similar to Buck than any other operator. Which, like, you'd assume it'd be like Jackal. And he does play very similar to Jackal, too. I guess he's like a Jackal-Buck hybrid. No, I'm going to end stream after this game. Which could be in 47 seconds. And looks like it might be. If Nigel's got anything to say about it. Goku's got a plant at some point. Nigel just might be him, though, so it might be all okay. Ryze is actually going to shoot this guy in the back, too. Ryze kills SDK here. Yeah. Again, Ryze's positioning is, like, pretty good, usually. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 1v1 for Ryze! 1v1 for Ryze to win the game! Ryze! No! <laughs> if they lose this game now... I'm gonna be so fucking. Uh, I'm gonna be so sad for Rise. That pizza looks fire. I can't lie to you. But like, no defender is walking up to that window ledge, you know. Uh -oh. If E1 win an attack in overtime, dude, Rise is actually gonna be so cooked. He lost this one. He lost the one v one to get them this overtime. Then he's opening death in the overtime. Okay, there's 50 seconds. E1 are going to stall, and they're going to have a bad execute, so it's probably fine. I feel bad. I, I, we're kind of dog, dogpiling on him. But I think he should probably go back to being an analyst. What did I tell you? 30-second push. They get shit on the 3v3. Nighthaven at low levels, man, is just so defender-sided. Even at higher levels, Nighthaven's a very defender-sided map. But at low level, for low-level teams, it's just, like, impossible. Because you've got to do so much right as the attacking team on a map like Nighthaven. Like, to clear a basement, you've got to roam clear. Like, the biggest map in the game. 
Then you've got to execute, like, the biggest basement in the game. Like, it's so big. This, this map is just so fucking huge. All right, Rise is at five kills. If Rise gets two more kills, we get to deflate the channel point economy. Because nobody predicted Rise to get seven or more kills. If Rise can just land a 2k or back-to-back -back 1ks, we will be in a great situation. Otherwise, every single channel point is going to hateful, dude. Holy shit. Elevate Academy. Did Rise get any kills? I was reading chat. Sorry. Did Rise kill Perez or Live? I'm just going to assume no. Good blitz play. Good blitz play. SCK will barely get out. No. Okay. Rise, you've got to get two more kills here. Everybody other than Hateful Dude is praying for Rise to get two kills of the last three. Oh, it's just not going to happen. <laughs> Oh, uh, he's going to get two th of three kills. Here's the win con. Blitz and Doku be rush in. They both get shit on by Flash Tree or someone else. Goku tries to plant. Rise covers and gets all three kills. That's the win condition here. The Tuberau has been abused like crazy on this bomb site. All right, Blitz is in. Shit on by SCK. That's, that's part one of the plan. Knack went down as well. Maybe do a goobine. Rise gets one kill. One more. Rise just has to find it. No, he's a rat ass bitch. No. Wait, the plan's going down. He got both. Rise. Redemption. He hit seven kills. <laughs> oh my god. Eat a dick, hateful dude.